it's George with the Paper Panda Crafts. Um, I am back with another video. Um, this is going to be a tutorial on how I made this. Hopefully y'all can see that. Um, it's a little um, hinged, uh, posable kind of photo thing. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> a photo... Um, stand I don't know but you can position it however you like you can put it like this you can kind of zigzag it um, you can do it in a semicircle if you're doing it this way you can close it up into a square um, and have just the outside pictures mainly be the show um, you can do it in a semicircle like that however you would like to position it so if you'd like to learn how to make this, then stay tuned. All right, guys, so in order to make this, this is going to require some chipboard and some decorative paper and um, some little hinges that I have and I ordered these hinges off of Amazon but you can get them probably from like the hardware store or the craft store probably in like the um, woodworking section maybe where they have like the little jewelry boxes and stuff but um, they're just little little hinges um, I use them on um, I've made notebooks with them and stuff like that um, I will insert a picture here, boom, um, <laughs> and so yeah, I figured why not try to make something else with them, um, and I will, if I didn't say it already, I don't remember, I'll have the link for these on Amazon in the description box below. Um, so what I've done is I've cut some chipboard down to um, six by four. And I have eight pieces that are six by four. Um, and what I've done with some already is I've run them through my uh, Xyron Creative, uh, Creative whatever, Creative Studio. Um, this thing, Creative Station, sorry. Um, I ran them through here. Now, if y'all don't have this, it's no big deal. It's not the end of the world. Um, you can use tape. Um, if you're going to use glue, go sparingly because you don't want to warp your chipboard. So you can use um, double-sided tape. You can use your tape runner because this isn't going to be really holding any weight um, or anything like that. I th your tape runner will be fine. Um, I used my tape runner to make the, um, the other one. Um, so you should be fine using your tape runner. I'm using my Xyron because... Um, I bought it and I feel like I should be using it and I haven't used it really since I bought it. So I might as well get some good use out of it. Um, and it's just faster um, to to do it. So if y'all haven't used a Xyron before, um, this is Creative Station, it's got these little different little cartridges that you can put in and it basically adds adhesive to the back of things. You can make stickers out of almost anything. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn this to where y'all can see it a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and put my chipboard in here. And I'm going to have to turn this my way, though, so I can turn the handle. And I'm just going to turn the handle. And then it spits it out the other side with adhesive. And there we go. So, now that we have adhesive on the back of this, I'm going to just use my spatula and really make sure that it sticks, because I don't want it coming up. Now, if you do use your Xyron to put adhesive on the back of your chipboard, just be careful, um, because it will want to pull your chipboard apart as you're, as you're peeling it. So, just go slowly, and it'll be fine. Um, so I'm going to peel off this plastic, put it in the trash, and oh yeah, 
I forgot, the paper that I'm going to be using is from this Lost and Found Breeze. Um, I got this from Tuesday morning. Um, I got it a while back, probably maybe about two or three months ago. So not a long while, but a while. And um, But they always have it. Every time I go, they always have this paper pad. They have Lost and Found Breeze, Lost and Found... Um, pink lost and found they have like three or four different lost and founds um give you all a quick flip through and it is really pretty paper so i think i have this one and i have the pink one um they're both really pretty um but the paper that i've selected out of this paper pad are these um i'm going to use four sheets two and two of the same. Um, I'm gonna try and keep everything in frame as much as I can, I'm sorry if I don't. Um, you can put two and then one across the top to save some paper, but I want to just have them all kinda different. Um, so I'm gonna put like two down here on this one two up at the top here on this one so um yeah that's what i want to do but you can do it however you would like um this there is no right or wrong um as long as what you make is what you like that's the end of the story <laughs> so yeah no right or wrong just do what you like um so i'm gonna take this i'm gonna flip it over and I'm watching my little screen on my camera that I can barely see. Hopefully my lighting's okay. I got a new ring light, and it really lights everything up, hopefully. <laughs> so um, let me know what y'all think. So um, I'm going to peel this off. And got the adhesive. And I'm just going to put it in, giving myself maybe about, mm, looks like it's about half an inch all the way around. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to peel my other piece. And I'm going to put one in this corner. All right. And then I'm going to cut off the extra, leaving myself again about maybe a little over half an inch um, at the top. Put that over to the side. We'll probably use that later on. It doesn't have to be super straight, so don't worry about it if you're if you don't cut it straight. Um, and then we're going to cut up the middle eh, about the same, leave about half an inch. And I'm going to cut off some of this excess because I don't need that much for a wrap around. I have to put a new blade on my finger blade. Okay, so. Now, we're going to do a wraparound on here, and I'm going to go ahead and fold these over. That way I can see where my corners are. And we're just going to do a quick miter cut. And the good thing about this is that if you're bad at miter cuts, like I tend to be sometimes. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter because they're not going to show. All right, fold this one over. And I'm going to do these two with y'all. And then I will do the rest off screen because it's just going to be the same thing over and over and over again. And I don't want y'all to get bored and stop watching. <laughs> so. Um, and I don't have that much to talk about while I'm doing all of these. All right. Okay. So we got those cut. And now um, we are going to use my tape gun uh, to put these down. I'm not going to use my <clears throat> not going to use my tear tape um, 
because it doesn't need to be this strong. I am going to use this later on, but I'm not going to use it for this. Because again, it's not going to be like holding any weight to it and it's not going to be um, under any like real stress, you know, so um, it doesn't need this heavy duty of a tape. So I'm just going to use my um, Scotch ATG and just run some tape on the paper on the edge of the paper and on the edge of the chipboard. So I'm going to do that all the way around on both of these and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I've got my tape on all four sides and I've got tape on all four edges of the paper. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this um, Scotch ATG, it is permanent tape and it's refillable and I really like it. Um, I couldn't find the refills, the Scotch brand refills, so I got a Michaels brand refill and I haven't had to put it in here yet, so hopefully it's as good because I, this stuff, once you stick stuff, it's, it's done, it's stuck, <laughs> so um, hopefully the Michaels is as good. Anyway, so once you uh, put your tape down, all you're going to do is just fold everything over. And again, I like to do the opposite sides, I don't like to go this side, this side, this side, that's just my preference. Um, I just feel like when you do like this, opposite sides, it gives it just a better, a, a more finished look. All right, and then we can smooth it out. And then just run your bone folder, couldn't think of the word, down the sides to get everything nice and squared. And I always go in and I hammer down those little points if there's anything sticking up. And you can take any kind of like, if you want to distress this a little bit, you can distress it however you want to do it. You can change the paper and give it a totally different look. It's all what you want. So, and it's, if you're making it for somebody, it's what you think that they will like and yeah if you're making it for yourself do it how you like um, so that one's done and we're gonna do the same thing to this one we're gonna fold it over fold over oh no I did it wrong after I just preached the whole thing and said do, <laughs> do the opposite sides <laughs> I go and do it wrong but I saved it. See? Still good. <laughs> anyway. Um, get everything smoothed down. Go over your edges. I use the, the um, broad side of my bone folder. I try not to use this side because I'm always afraid it's going to like rip the paper up or something. Because believe, this um, Recollections bone folder it's actually really sharp <laughs> when I like this has like a really good point on it and it will cut your paper if you're not watching out all right so we got those covered Ta -da. and I'm going to do the other ones off screen off camera whatever and um, I'll be right back all right guys I am back I've got all of my pieces covered and um, I went ahead and added some of my tear tape to the corners or the edges on the back and I will do this last one with you all just so you can see how I do it. So I'm just putting one strip along each edge and I swear this is the only thing I use this ruler for is just to tear my tape <laughs> I don't use it to measure that's all I use it for if I want to measure something I have my I have this one to measure with but this is only used to tear my tape <laughs> but 
So anyway, <laughs> um, put your tape down on all of your sides, get it down with your bone folder, and I really love the spatula for this reason because I can just go over one or two swipes and the whole thing's done. <laughs> so um, now the reason for this tape is because this is what's going to be holding our hinges in place um, when we get everything set. So make sure everything is right side up and you can arrange your pieces however you would like. You don't even have to do this many pieces. You can just do uh, two pieces. You can do front and back. Um, you can do three. You can do six. You can do however many you would want. Um, you don't have to use these. You don't have to use hinges if you don't want to. You can use um, like maybe seam binding. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Um, you can maybe put some uh, lace in between to use as like a binding. I think that would be kind of cool too. It'd be really pretty actually. Um, so yeah, you, you don't have to do, um, you don't have to use these hinges, but I have them so I figured I might as well put them to some good use. Um, so the way I want to do it is I want to keep these four on one side. So I'm going to make sure they're right side up. Yeah. And this one's kind of blank, so it doesn't really matter which way it goes. And this one goes like this. So um, peel off the backing of your tape. And there we go. All right, and I'm gonna take my hinge and I'm gonna put the part that sticks out. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Sorry, I'm. It'd help y'all could see it if I was in frame. Um, this part that sticks out. Um, I'm going to lay that down. And I'm going to lay it on the edge of this. And that tape is going to kind of hold it in place for me. And I'm going to do another one. I'm going to put two hinges per, per section. So I, I have a total of six hinges. And I'm not measuring. I'm just kind of eyeballing. You put your hinges wherever you want. And then I'm going to make this one meet up. I'm going to make sure they're kind of lined up as close as I can get them. And fold this one over and fold that one over. And there we go. So we got that one in place. And I'm going to do the exact same thing to these two sections and you guessed it I'll be right back all right guys I am back um, I have got all my hinges in place and I just eyeballed them I didn't measure I lined them up as best I could and I think it came out pretty good and this is why I said your miter cuts don't really have to be perfect because they're not really gonna show um, so because we're going to take these and we're going to glue them onto that and that's what's going to hold your hinges in place. So you don't need to punch any holes or do any like brads or anything like that. This is all going to be glue and tape. Um, so I'm going to take my glue and cover this part that doesn't have tape. And make sure to get my corners. Yeah, they got tape on them anyway. And I'm going to put a little bit of extra glue in the holes of the hinges and on the hinge itself. And so now all we got to do, move these out of the way. Ooh, <laughs> come on, there. All we have to do now is just line it up. And again, you can put these in any order that you want. You can mix and match, do whatever you want. And I guess I keep reiterating that because, you know, there's there's no right or wrong. 
you know it's it's whatever you want and there's you know a lot of people stress out I know I do sometimes I'm like I want to do it exactly the way you know so and so is doing it but no make it your own or do it exactly like I am it doesn't matter <laughs> all right so get these lined up and sandwich it down get my spatula get everything stuck and that's it just move on to the next one and I'll do all these on camera with you all because it's a fairly fast process I don't think y'all will be too bored and just make sure your stuff is right side up and line up those corners and press it down and this glue will hold along with the tape will hold these hinges in place um, I've made several notepads with these hinges and glue and tape and they've held um, like like nothing else um, this is reptile glue um, those of y'all that follow posh paper lady which I'm pretty sure um, majority of you do um, know that she swears by this stuff and she got me hooked on it this is the only glue I will use because it does hold everything I love it so just get a good amount of glue on there you don't want to go crazy you don't want to oversaturate your chipboard and we're gonna line this one up lay it down and if you get it a little off, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Just do the best we can. And last one. I keep looking up at my little screen to make sure I'm still in frames. I have a bad habit. When I put on glue, I put it on like this. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Um, and, oop, I almost put it on upside down. and we will get these lined up and sandwich it down and get your scraper, bone folder whatever you're using and get it nice and smooth there we go we've got the base for our project alright so now um, it's time to decorate. What I'm going to be using <clears throat> is these chipboard frames. Um, these are by Tim Holtz. Um, I got them at Hobby Lobby um, when they were doing 40% off of Tim Holtz. So I picked up uh, these. You'll probably saw them in a haul video if you've watched my haul videos. Um, if not, um, check it out. I'll put it in a little card up, up there somewhere. Um, um, but yeah, I got these, and I got these on Amazon a long, long time ago. Um, these are also by Tim Holtz. So I've got these two large frames and these two medium-sized frames that I'm going to use. And I've got some of these stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, these are by the Paper Studio, so I got them when they were doing the half-off Paper Studio and I've got some um, photo mats that I've made. Um, I'm sorry I didn't, I made these ahead of time and I didn't, I was gonna leave one to make on screen with you guys but um, I just was going and going and going and I just finished all of them. But all it is is it's, this one is a 4x3 piece of scrap paper. You can use white um, cardstock, what, whatever you have, or just use some of your scraps that you cut off of this stuff. Um, this is a 4x3 piece of white, or flipped over, whatever. And then this is a 4 and a quarter by 3 and a quarter um, piece of scrap also. And then I just glued this part to that part. That's all it is. Um, so this one is a 4x3. I got two of those. 
And then I same thing, this one is a three by three piece of white with um, a three and a quarter by three and a quarter uh, scrap piece that I mounted this on with um, my ATG. So that's all it is. I'm sorry I didn't do one on, on uh, camera with you. I just got going and I just went. <laughs> so um, we're going to use these to put on here and along with some of these stickers and I might use some of these. I'm not sure yet. These are the Tim Holtz um, Small Talk and I've also got these Tim Holtz chipboard um, kind of like the same thing small talk um, so yeah that's all we're gonna do we're gonna put these on you can put them on however you like I am think I'm going to put one of these here and I'm gonna put another I'm gonna put a large one on this one yeah so I've got my little foam pads <clears throat> stuck to the back excuse me um, and I put two of them down here so that way when a photo is inserted it just doesn't fall out the bottom. Alright, so I got my backings peeled off and I think I'm going to offset this one. I'm just going to put it right here kind of in the corner. And same thing with this one. Alright, got my backings peeled off and I think I'm just going to put this one dead center because there's really not much room to do with this one. Maybe I'll kind of put it up top and I'll put something down along the bottom. Okay. And on the other two I'm going to put photo mats. So I think on this one because I, I like this train down here um, I think I'm going to use one of the smaller ones and put it up here. And then on this other one I'm going to do an offset. I think I'm gonna put this one down in the corner like that. Yeah. So I'm just gonna use my ATG and well maybe not. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I think it's starting to run out. Sad. <laughs> and we'll place it here like that. And this one same thing. I'm going to put this one up here, top center. Okay, and now what do I want to put on here? I want to put some stickers. I think I might use this and put that here, kind of overlapping the photo mat like that. And I don't want to do too much. Like, I don't want to go nuts to where it takes away from, you know, the main attractions, the photos. <laughs> so, um, and this one, maybe I'll just use this crown and put it, oops, like that. To me, when you overlap it on the photo, to me it gives it like a little bit of dimension. Even though it's flat, it still gives it some dimension. Let's see, get that nice and stuck. Sometimes these stickers don't like to stick. Like this one. So you might have to put a little bit of glue on the back. Because when I bought these, they were kind of already falling off. <laughs> the the backing. Get a paper towel. That way I can get the glue off my fingers and sop up any seepage and kind of help it spread out a little bit. All right, looks good. This one seems to be sticking just fine. Well, I take that back. You know, I'm just going to put glue on all of them. There we go. All right. And 
I think I'm going to use one of my, one of these. And I think I'm going to use this one. It says, darling, you are a work of art. <laughs> I think I'm just going to kind of put it a little angle right there. These are nice and sticky. I don't need to put any glue on that. And I think I'm going to put another one on here. And I'm just going to put this love you. Just like this. Oops. Just like that. A little small. But you know, we have this big giant frame. We just have this little love you. <laughs> All right, and now let's do the other side. All right, so this time I've got all my backings peeled off, and this time I'm going to put this one on this section, which is on the back of one of the photo mats, just because that's where I want to put it. I'm going to offset it down in the corner, get it nice and pressed down, and we're going to put our other one. I thought I lost it. <laughs> Alright, we're going to put our other one on this one. And I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to offset it, but towards the top. Or, eh, yeah. Oh, but I really like that bird. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll put it on this one. And I'll put the two photo mats in the middle. There we go. Get that all pressed down. And I think I'm going to put the small photo mat here. That way we can see our bird. And I'm going to put the large photo mat. I think I'm going to put this one. Will it fit? No, it won't. OK, I was going to put it sideways, but I'm not going to be able to. That's OK. So we're going to put some tape on here. And we're going to put this. As straight as we can like that and same thing with this one all right so I think we'll put this one offset towards this corner just because why not and if you want to distress these photo mats go for it and on this one I think I'm gonna use one of these chipboard things And I think I'm going to put this follow your heart. And I think I'm going to put it like that. And I think this is wide enough to use my tape gun. Yep, sure is. Follow your heart. I think I'm going to do it like that. Okay. And on this one, hmm, don't want to cover that up. You know what, I think I'm going to add one of these little sayings. Um, I think I'm going to put this one. Hello, my darling. And I think I'm just going to put it right here. There we go. And on this one, hmm. I think on this one, I'm going to, yeah. I think on this one, I'm going to put this little perfume bottle. And I'm going to put this bird. Just like that. All right. And that is it. We have our photo wall. <laughs> and stand it up on your coffee table, on your nightstand, on your dresser, wherever you would like, however you would like. Put it like that, put it like that, however you want. Put it in a square. Put it in a semicircle, etc.
it's all up to you. So, there you go. Ta-da! <laughs> so that is it for this one, guys. Um, if you like what you saw, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to check out my other videos. Most importantly, subscribe, turn on the notification um, icon bell thing. lets you know whenever I upload a video. Um, and leave me a comment what you'd like to see in my upcoming videos. Um, I'm going to try and do at least one video a week on Mondays. I might try to start doing a second video um, like maybe in the middle of the week. Um, more of like um, a haul video or a shop with me video or maybe some kind of review or thing and something like that so um, yeah but that's it so um, this will obviously this will be for sale on my Etsy shop along with that other one um, the link for that will be down in the description box along with the link for my Instagram and um, I will see you all in the next one bye